Imagine being recognized for your outstanding contribution to the world not once, not twice, but 49 times. Sounds impressive, right? Now imagine not winning a single time. That's exactly the story of Lisa Meitner, the extraordinary physicist who fled the Nazis, gave the first explanation for fissioning uranium, and was nominated for the Nobel Prize a whopping 49 times without ever taking home the award. Lisa Meitner was born in Austria in 1878 into a family that valued education and intellectual pursuits. She excelled in school and eventually went on to study physics at the University of Vienna. After completing her PhD in physics in 1905, only the second woman ever to do so, Meitner began working as a research assistant at the University of Berlin, where she would meet one of the pioneers of nuclear energy, Otto Hahn. And after working as a research assistant for several years, she became the first woman to become a full professor of physics in Germany in 1926. Meitner's most significant accomplishment came in the late 1930s, when she and Otto Hahn discovered nuclear fission. Meitner had been focusing on different types of nuclear interactions and radiation, and realized the process they had observed was a new type of nuclear reaction, in which a heavy uranium atom would split into two smaller atoms and some free neutrons. She also correctly calculated the amount of energy released by the reaction, in part by using Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc square. The discovery had enormous implications for nuclear physics, and opened up new possibilities of energy production. Despite her key role in the discovery of nuclear fission, Meitner was not awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1944, which went solely to her colleague Otto Hahn. Many scientists at the time believed Meitner's gender and religion contributed to her lack of recognition for her part in the discovery of nuclear fission. Meitner also made many other discoveries in the field of nuclear physics. She was instrumental in the development of the theory of beta decay, a type of radioactive decay in which a small particle is released from the atomic nucleus. Meitner and her colleague, the chemist Otto Frisch, also made important contributions to the understanding of the physical properties of atomic nuclei. In addition to nuclear physics, Meitner also worked in the field of radioactivity. She discovered the element protactinium, which at that point had only been predicted in the periodic table of elements. Meitner also conducted extensive research on the radioactive properties of radium and thorium. However, Meitner faced numerous challenges throughout her career due to her gender and nationality. As a Jewish woman in Nazi Germany, she was subject to discrimination and persecution. In 1938, Meitner was forced to flee Germany to escape and continue her work in Sweden. Despite being a renowned physicist, Meitner struggled to find work due to her refugee status and gender. She was frequently passed over for positions and funding in favor of male candidates. Despite these obstacles, Meitner never gave up her passion for physics and continued to make groundbreaking contributions to the field all the way up until her death in 1968. Over the course of her career, she would be nominated for the Nobel Prize in Physics and Chemistry 49 times, but would never take home the award. Despite her numerous contributions to the field, Meitner's lack of recognition has been attributed to various factors, including her gender and religion. She was, however, awarded the Max Planck Medal in 1949, one of the most prestigious awards in physics. She also received the Enrico Fermi Award in 1966, the first woman to do so. Despite facing countless challenges throughout her career, Lisa Meitner's contributions to science have had a lasting impact. Her work on nuclear fission in particular revolutionized nuclear physics and laid the foundation for the development of nuclear energy and nuclear weapons. Her legacy continues to inform the work of physicists today and inspired countless women to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So what can we do to support women in science and engineering? One simple action is to support organizations that promote gender equality in science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM fields. There are many organizations that work to support women in STEM, such as Women in Nuclear, Girls Who Code, and the Society of Women Engineers. You can also mentor and support young women who are interested in pursuing careers in STEM, and advocate policies that promote gender equality in the workplace. And who knows, because of that support, we might just find the next Lisa Meitner. Thanks for watching.